Hey friends, welcome back. My name is Summer. Welcome to my channel, Vibely. So today we are going to get into the energies, whatever is coming for you for your daily guidance for Friday. So without further ado, let's get started. I've already pre-shuffled. I will go ahead and shuffle one more time. I'm going to break the deck this time and allow me to meditate. Okay, what energies are coming for you guys for Friday? <clears throat> Let's see what we got. Eight of Swords. Hmm. So Eight of Swords can be a little bit of a <clears throat> conflict type of energy. This can be opportunities missed or opportunities not seized. But feeling in conflict or in prison in some sort of maybe receiving some bad news. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have Eight of Cups, which is someone, you know, there's some disappointment, abandonment in an issue, um, abandonment in a situation, or someone discontinuing their efforts, someone no longer wanting or actively putting any type of effort in a situation. Let's see what else we can get. <clears throat> we have the Four of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with someone that is no longer, you could be receiving some disappointment from someone you thought was going to come through. So this person I feel like is, a little bit um, greedy or they could be gre being greedy in this moment refusing to share um, and this is mainly based out of fear fear of financial upset um, another just insight message I'm getting from my guides is that maybe an application is being denied for some sort of opportunity it could be a job offer, but I'm seeing more like assistance or help in some sort of way to get you out of some sort of imprisonment or sickness that you've been in. Um, this it is just going to be denied, and you're going to be receiving this as of Friday. Let's see if we can get any other news, maybe good news. <laughs> what else do we have? That is too much. I'm seeing a judge, <clears throat> a judge, something being judged. That's interesting. just throws me for a loop because after this we have the sun card we have the fool we have the lovers we have the queen of wands so <clears throat> either this is completely something starting new for you out of this conflict out of this bad news that you're receiving or this the bad news you're receiving is about this situation and I almost want to clarify before I get this storyline because I don't want to build hopes up about something that's not there so give me just a second because this on this side is beautiful energy, but accompanied by this bad news, 
could be bad. Let's see. This is Eight of Swords and Four of Coins. Speaking of... Have narcissist. Someone is too full of themselves. Ah, pets. Okay, let me a little bit more. Sorry, guys. Give me one more second. Just trying to see if this is new or talking about this situation. What is this Eight of Swords and Four of Coins talking about then? Let's see. What is this crisis and bad news resulting about? One more. Okay, so this bad news that is coming for you is more in regards to a job, a job offer, um, but I'm mainly seeing like a an application that you were hoping would go through is, would help you with your material wealth or lack of material wealth. Um, so somebody is not wanting to collaborate with you, someone is not wanting to help you out. I'm seeing, you know, it often, this Ace of Coins reverse often speaks of corruption, but I'm not necessarily seeing corruption as I'm seeing as much as greed. Someone is mis, um, misusing these funds. Someone is con in control of making decision of who gets to use these funds. Um, and it could bring some sort of feeling for you of like, well, shit, what am I going to do now? I was really counting on this. This is, um, yeah, this, this entity, this application, whoever is in power over this has really, um, Whatever you applied for, this this application is in high demand. And I'm seeing they're using their rank and power and they have grown very bitter in their job. And due to a lot of things behind the scenes that have nothing to do with you, <clears throat> um, they're misusing their power and they're making a final judgment and your application for these funds will not get approved. I am so sorry to deliver that message, especially if you have been waiting for this to help you through these bad times. So you can be receiving good news as far as the financial sector. And I am deeply sorry about that. We can work through that though. Okay. Don't lose hope. Don't lose faith because I do see in the other aspect of your life is love that is turning around for you but because we have the sun and this speaks of wish fulfillment it speaks of joy mainly the sun is joy the sun if you think about it brings light upon the dark i think of valleys and how you see you know when the sun shines it shines on peaks and things but there's shadows within the valleys this is the sun finally peaking 
and falling upon the shadows of your life to bring that joy back. I do see that there is going to be love brought into your world. Um, there's going to be some sort of, finally, I feel like, um, vocal engagement. So you talking with someone, um, I feel like you're finally finding, again, the pleasure in your daily existence, how deep and dramatic that sounds. It feels like the pleasure in everyday existence was not there for a good while and most likely due to a lot of this turmoil going on in your scene, in your energy, in the things that had manifested for you. I do see you being more sociable this coming up um, in this weekend. You're going to very, feel very happy and content and um, with the full and the lovers and the queen of wands. This is a beginning. Someone is wanting a deeper commitment with you. Someone you, I'm trying to see if this is new or old. This is always my dilemma, especially when the energies aren't clear. <laughs> Regardless if it is new or old, possibly we will get something somewhere out of this within, because I have a lot of cards pulled out here, but you're going to be more social this weekend. This also speaks of love and devotion coming into your life, whether it's new or old. Someone, this could be the person that you feel like you could marry or you will marry. This person is sincere, so trust it. This is a beginning of an adventure with the fool. You're going to feel enthusiastic again about life and love and everything in existence. I'm even seeing trees. Like you're getting excited about little things like that. Like the natural nature part of the world. Although this, you feel like this is so soon and so new. But you feel this. It's like your thoughts are gone. Like you're all the thinking, all the deep thoughts. It's just like thoughtlessness. Like you're finally getting to just have react out of pure joy and emotion instead of countered and worrying and seeing worrying about the, the the intentions behind the person or the actions and with the queen of wands i feel like this is speaking of you this is you really Having this friendly demeanor again, you being very social in a time that you have been so withdrawn from the world, you are going to be receiving an invitation from someone, someone that is very attracted to you, someone that is appealing to you. They're going to propose and approach you with a proposal of, you know, and growing with them. And they're almost taking on this King of Swords energy, which is someone who knows what they want and they put action in what they want. Yeah, someone's bringing some news towards you. And I feel like the way you will know this person is um, kind of full, full of themselves. Sometimes they can, you know, they can see so seem so full of themselves that it's almost like they're a little cocky. This may be how you realize this is for you or you get that clarification that this is for you. 
I feel like they're going to be asking you out on a date. Um, they could be asking you and your friend. Like they could even be taking out your friend as well or someone close to you. I do see a freedom of, of some sort of promotion. I see harmony and trust in this person. This could be a soulmate. This could be a Gemini. Definitely an air sign. They could have a pet or you could have a pet. Um, let's see if we can get a little bit deeper into this because it's kind of all over the place. A lot of stuff blew out. It's like there's some sort of reorganization in this person's life and they are ready to just jump without thinking about things anymore. They're ready to um, just dive into this full-fledged. Like your wish is coming true, whether this is a new or old person. And the Queen of Wands is kind of how they view you. They view you as someone very sympathetic, someone that they would want to have a romance with, a friendship with, even a marriage with. They could have been testing your sincerity, and maybe you passed the test. They know that you have a sincere compassion for others. They know that you will honor them. And that they would have something incredibly meaning for you. So what is this news that they're bringing you? Bah. They want to overcome challenges that you guys have faced. They want to call it a truce, a negotiation, a compromise. Maybe they're wanting to, you know, I feel like they've been overwhelmed lately. But they want to bring you this something about this news of something about a deep feeling. I'm hearing, I know now that throughout anything, we will surmount and overcome anything together. Then this justice in reverse is them bringing you some news that kind of communicating this that <clears throat> maybe they judged you a little unfairly. Maybe, um, and then they're, I feel like they may be talking to you about how you judged them unfairly. A lot of things were false that they felt accused of and to the severity level that it hurt them and that they wouldn't tolerate and they know what you won't tolerate. Somebody could be have been giving them advice that was not great advice or untrue. A business partner, a fr they I feel like they went into or tried to start a business with a friend who they found out that this wasn't a good idea. Maybe this was a bad business idea, a bad business partner. And instead of giving them advice from an unbiased point of view, they were biased. They did have bad intentions in this or not necessarily bad, but not intentions of a true friend that would want the best. They just wanted to give them advice to keep this friend closer instead of allowing them to make their own decision, they knew what to say in order to get them back full-fledged. And this could have been a friend that was a narcissist and knew how to work this person over. <clears throat> and I feel like they are having many ideas for you.
I do feel like they want to commu communicate with you that you broke their heart. Their heart has been hurting. They have been hurting. They have felt disappointed. And for a little while, they had a lack of vision. They feel like they failed you. But also at the same time, they feel like you failed them too. They want to come out of this defense, this defensive energy you guys have together. Yeah, they want to progress, you guys. They want to progress the situation. They want to really... Um, show you that they can be someone of I'm getting like an authority like that they are head of household however that means um they've experienced I'm hearing with you and they've experienced without you and They've deeply, deeply went in. They've deeply concentrated. They've deeply re reflected on the situation. And now they see both sides. They see their friend's version and they see your version. And now they have respect for you and the knowledge that they have gained. They may even have felt like they were in competition for you. And now they even feel silly about it because they realize there was no competition that you were... You weren't trying to compete. You weren't trying to one-up them. You weren't trying to, you know, shove things in their face after the fact if you'd separated. So they're learning. And they want to be this good person. They want to do good with you, like a power couple type of feeling. So they're bringing the small message to you. Not a small message, but... As a page, it's smaller. That's not a full-grown king type of communication. Let me see if I can get anything else. So, yeah, Eight of Wands. I mean, this can be good and bad, but I will get a good vibe with the Eight of Wands because this is very fast. This is a lot of communication at once. They want rapid movement. There is some sort of hasty um, speed in this movement. Like just a lot of, I always feel like this is my text messages. When somebody's texting back and forth a lot, they are going to make swift and fast movement activity and messages. There is going to be a sudden progress forward, forward movement. They, it almost seems like their energy is overflowing with this so much so that it's almost like they're hastily making decisions like, whoa, 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 slow down, you know, but it's, it's in a good way. It's in passionate exchanges. So let's see if we can get some guidance for this. This is kind of all over the place. Let's get guidance on this application that I see um, that has you feeling conflicted and in prison. So we have focus on service and we have listen. It says, quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desire's manifestations. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. This is our request for you to listen. So what I'm getting from that is, although you'll be receiving good news, it's going to be okay. You're going to be taken care of. Something is going to come for you and aid you and help you and support you. And then the focus on service. Your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and all that you do. So, 
It's saying you are okay, you're protected. Listen to their guidance and focus on service and service will come to you back full fledged. The bottom of the deck, moving on to this energy over here with this person and this date that you can be expecting is let the past go. Let's get some guidance on this romantic type of situation. Heart chakra, there is a need to heal your heart chakra. And this is forgiveness and really healing the hurt, the pain, pushing out that bad energy so the good can come in. When you do this and you balance this, you're opening your heart for that love to reconcile, for that love to fully come in for you full circle. And it's also saying it's safe for you to open up your heart to this person and to love this person, whether you feel like that or not in this moment. Let's get one last piece of guidance for you for this situation. I love this. It's saying, and I believe this is Michael, the angel, there's nothing for you to worry about. You are safe in this situation, is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. So don't worry. Worry about yourself. If you want to worry about anything, focus on healing your heart and really breaking through your heart chakra because there is nothing to worry about. This is all divinely timed. This is all divinely meant. This is all divinely healed. And with the dove, it speaks of innocence. Your relationship will move back to an innocent state where you felt loved and supported. For you right now is just to listen, serve, heal the heart, and remember you are protected and divinely guided. I hope this helps. Leave me some comments in the description box below. I would love to hear from you. Um, but if nothing else, I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace and love. Bye.